As women, most of us know the basics about the menstrual cycle. However, having a more in-depth understanding can help us explain how fertility medications work to improve the chances of falling pregnant. The first step is to understand the hormones that control our monthly cycle. The creation of fertility hormones starts in a part of our brain called the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus produces a hormone called GnRH, which stimulates another part of our brain, the anterior pituitary gland, to produce follicle-stimulating hormone known as FSH and luteinizing hormone commonly called LH. These hormones control the growth of follicles and ovulation and also stimulate our ovaries to produce both estrogen and progesterone. This chain of hormone activity between the hypothalamus, pituitary gland and ovary is known as the HPO axis. In a normal menstrual cycle, rising levels of FSH triggers the growth and development of a follicle over a 14-day period. This growing follicle, which contains an egg, produces increasing levels of oestrogen, encouraging a thickening of the endometrium or lining of the uterus. On day 12 to 14, there is a spike in oestrogen levels and this triggers a surge in LH. Between days 14 to 16, the rise in luteinizing hormone causes the release of the egg, known as ovulation. The egg then travels along the fallopian tube, hoping to meet sperm and be fertilised. Once the egg has begun its journey, the empty follicle then secretes the hormone progesterone to help support the pregnancy. The rise in progesterone helps to maintain a healthy endometrium to support a pregnancy. If fertilisation doesn't happen, then the corpus luteum stops producing progesterone, the lining starts to disintegrate and a period begins. In a normal menstrual cycle, usually only one dominant follicle will develop, releasing one egg. With IVF, we artificially increase the amount of FSH to stimulate the growth of multiple follicles. We then collect the eggs inside the follicles for insemination in the lab. Having access to multiple eggs increases the chance the IVF process will work.